So L S M W. Before we um, really understand the definition of LSMW, um, let's try and understand what I had to do in that uh, project that I was talking about. This company had a bunch of customers, right? These are customers and they were around 10,000 customers and this was in their oracle based ERP system. Now our job was to migrate all of these customers over to SAP. Now, how do we recreate 10,000 customers in SAP? Obviously, creating them manually in SAP is not an option because that's a big number, right? It will take days, weeks, or even months. So there's got to be some way of automating the transfer of these customers into SAP. So at the end of the day, we want all these customers to be available in SAP. Well, there are many ways to do this thing. This thing meaning migration of this data from this Oracle home ERP system into SAP. Now, LSMW is one such tool that can help us in migrating this bunch of data from a, this Oracle based ERP system into SAP. So how does LSMW help us in migrating this data? Now, LSMW is a workbench in SAP which has a set of tools that will help us pull the data from this external system, whatever it is, in this case, this Oracle or ERP system or any other system. And recreate that data in SAP. Now when I mean workbench, it's simply a set of tools that are you know strung together in, in, in what is called as a workbench. So this LSMW is actually a workbench which is a, a fancy word for a set of tools. So these are our tools. And this workbench can be used to get data from any other external system and migrate it into SAP. Now, typically, we tend to do this as part of a go live. So, as part of a go live, this system is being phased out. So, this system is going to go away. And a system that's generally going away is called as a legacy system. So it was a system that existed and now we're going to replace it with SAP. So this is a legacy system and that's what the word L means here in LSMW. It's called a legacy system, which means a system that's very old and might still be operational or a system that's just going to go away and we're going to replace that with SAP. So what is LSMW really? LSMW is a workbench, right? So the W here stands for this workbench, which like I said is a set of tools that are used to migrate M stands for migrate and L stands for the legacy system. So LSMW is a workbench that's used to migrate data from a legacy system into SAP. I said this is generally um, done on a one-time basis, typically during go live. One-time basis, meaning it's going to be done once for a project and that's it. But not all the time. 
the, are there other scenarios where um, you can do this uh, migration on an ongoing basis as opposed to um, the one-time basis that we talked about? Yes. There's another scenario for my project where I used LSMW on an ongoing basis. This was for another client though, but the concept remained the same. So this client has implemented a front-end CRM system. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. Uh, which is another um, system that was used as a front end to maintain customers, accounts, sales reps, sales representatives, sales representatives, and all other kinds of partners. So this system, apart from doing other things, was the primary source of data for the customer master. So going forward, all these partners are customers who are going to be created in the front-end CRM system. So naturally, the expectation was that all these customers created in CRM were not going to be created again in SAP. So that meant that there should be some way of pulling in the customers that were created in CRM automatically into SAP on an ongoing basis. So it's not a one-time activity. Let's say uh, today is a lucky day and uh, there were 100 customers created in CRM. And the expectation is that these 100 customers were going to be automatically created in SAP via some kind of a process. Now, you might be wondering how it could be done because we know LSMW can be used on a one time basis during go lives or other data migration activities. But can we use LSMW in this situation where? Um, these hundred customers on a daily basis needs to be created in SAP. Yes. So how did I achieve it? Well, I asked my CRM developer to give me a dump of these hundred customers into a flat file, like an Excel file, and I wrote this magical program called LSMW that pulled in this data and created them in SAP. Don't let the word legacy fool you because in this case CRM is not really a legacy system. Although LSMW stands for legacy system blah blah blah, you can really let any kind of system be uh, a source of data. So in this case CRM is a source of data and it's not really a legacy data. It, it's an ongoing system that was newly implemented and that could very well be a source of data for LSMW. In this case, I have taken the customer master, customer master, as an example, but you can really do it for any kind of master or transaction data. In my other projects, I have done vendor master, which is the master data for all vendors. And um, in another project, I've done pricing condition records, pricing condition records. Uh, and in some cases, I've also done transactional data like orders, sales orders, deliveries, and so on. So it's not just master data. So it can also be transactional data. or for that matter any kind of data in order to bring this data out into sap this master or transaction data into sap lsmw is by no means the only way there are other tools that you can use in sap called scat s c a t t or ecat or bdc or some of the these standard inbuilt 
workbenches or tools can be used to do the same thing that LSMW can do, which is to bring or migrate data into SAP. Now, LSMW is special in this particular case is because it's um, by far, I would say, the most flexible in that it can support a bunch of options. It's designed to be used by functional consultants. So if you are an ABAP consultant, maybe you have other means to do it, but if you are a functional consultant like me, you could be an SD consultant, you could be a FICO consultant, you could be a CRM consultant. This tool is really meant for us. It's designed from the ground up to be used by functional consultants. And it's provided out of the box. So every SAP installation has it built in. So you don't need to install anything. It's already out there. So you just use it. So the key words here that you should understand uh, when you use LSMW is first thing LSMW is used to bring in data from a non-SAP system into SAP system. Now it could be a legacy system like the first case that we have discussed or it could be an, a simple system like a CRM system that's a non-SAP system that's currently running. It's not going to be going out, it's still going to be existing but that's going to pump in data on an ongoing basis. So it doesn't matter if it is a one-time migration or an ongoing basis. If it is a non-SAP system that's churning out data, yes, that, that can be brought into SAP. The second example is high volumes or high frequency. So high volumes or high frequency. Now, why do I say that? Why do I say high volumes or high frequency? If you're only going to migrate, say, um, you know, 100 customers over um, the course of your one-time data migration, um, it, it doesn't make any sense to, you know, spend your energy writing a script called LSMW um, and migrating those 100 customers into SAP because you could as well do it manually, right? So for 100 customers on a one-time basis, you don't need LSMW, you don't need all this complexity. You can just ask your users to go to the respective transaction for the customer master, say VA01, and give the data to them and they'll create the, the customers in the system. But if this number was high, let's say, you know, 10,000, 100,000, such a big number that it doesn't make any sense to create them manually, right? So there needs to be some kind of an automation and your LSMW can be used in the case where you have really high volumes. The second scenario is a high frequency. Well, in the second case that we have talked about the CRM system, it's not really a lot of customers at one go, say 100 customers <coughs> every day, but it's high frequency. So it's 100 customers every day, and that's, that's a pain. You can't ask your user to create 100 customers every day. It's just not possible, right? Uh, there's got to be some way of um, doing this automatically, and that's what LSMW can do for us. So your data, it has got to be high volumes if you do it one time, in this case, 10,000 customers or 5,000 customers, or in the case you have, in some cases where you have very low volume of customers, say 100, but you gotta do it every day or every week. Yes, LSMW is definitely very suitable. So let me quickly summarize what we have learned here. LSMW, LSMW stands for Legacy System migration workbench legacy system migration workbench
<clears throat> so LSMW is a tool that's provided by SAP out of the box. So this guy is being provided by SAP out of the box, meaning you don't have to really install anything. If you have a brand new SAP installation, you got it, okay? So it's available out of the box and it's a tool that's used to migrate data from non-SAP to SAP. And it's designed from the ground up for functional consultants. Functional consultants, meaning you're a functional consultant, you don't know how to write code, that's fine, LSMW, is a tool that's designed for functional consultants so you don't need to write code you don't need to know how to write code lsmw gives you all the means and methods that you um, would ever need to migrate data from non-sap into sap <clears throat>